Well, the key to understanding the Sermon on the Mount, first of all, if we start with the Beatitudes, is to understand the Psalms. The language of the Beatitudes is the language of the Psalms and the prophets like Isaiah. These are Jewish concepts and these are Jewish promises, I mean, from the Hebrew Bible, from the Old Testament. So his audience does not have a New Testament. None of them have read any gospels. And when Jesus talks to them, he has to talk to them in the language that they are familiar with, which is the language of David and Isaiah, for example. So the, the Sermon on the Mount is speaking to a Jewish audience, first of all, pulling on that. The second thing that Jesus does is that he quotes the law. He'll say, you've heard it said, you shall not kill. You've heard it said, you shall not steal. These are the Ten Commandments coming out of Exodus chapter 20. And the audience is familiar with all of those commandments. And now Jesus wants to take the commandments and interpret them in light of God's rule in our heart. And then he talks about how to practice your religion, giving alms, praying and fasting, all customs that are well known to the Jews of the first century. So he talks about what the real motivations should be for doing such religious acts of piety. And then finally, he talks about this interior relationship we have with the Father, a perspective of trust in God with regard to all the manners of life, all the matters of life, and how do we relate with one another. So it's grounded in the Old Testament. It's grounded in the law of Moses. It's grounded in the prophets and in the Psalms. And it's the language of the people of, the, of Israel.